find solution of algebraic equation. I am Anil Kumar and we will now explore a method of solving algebraic equation. As you know, algebraic equation is one in which we have equal to sign and at least one variable. In, we have four examples here. We have x as the variable in each one of them. Now solving really means making left side equals to right side. So left side should be equal to right side when we solve. So that's the whole idea. Now the question before us is solve by reverse operation or sometimes we also call it inverse operation. Well, both are kind of same things. So when we say reverse means if I have plus here then reverse or inverse of plus is minus and if it is minus the inverse is plus. If you have multiplication it becomes division and for division the inverse or reverse is multiplication right so that is what we are supposed to do these are all the operations which we will consider now so the equation for us is x plus 2 equals to 9 now that's very simple x should be 7 right you can solve it by inspection but the whole idea is to learn a method if we learn a method and know how to solve then we can even solve a complicated equation so we have simple examples and simple steps to follow so that tomorrow or the next time we can solve a complicated equation right so let's look into these steps carefully x plus 2 equals to 9 the idea is to make left side equals to right side and find the value of x finding x really means isolate x get rid of everything else now we have plus 2 here how will I get rid of plus 2? By adding reverse of plus 2, right? In this case, reverse of plus 2 is minus 2, correct? So what we can do is, we can write this as x plus 2, take away 2 from both sides. We have to do same operations on both sides, only then equation remains a valid equation, right? We cannot do minus 2 on one side, it will make it different. So we have to balance it out always. x plus 2 minus 2, 9 minus 2. So in the next step, we will solve for x. Plus 2 minus 2 is 0. We are left with x equals to 9 minus 2, which is 7. It's a good idea to check your solution also. We get x equals to 7. And what is 7 plus 2? 7 plus 2 is indeed 9. Now, that means left side equals to right side is the right solution. Correct? So that is the method. Simple but very useful. Let's do one more. x minus 4 equals to 5. Now, what is reverse of minus 4? Plus 4, right? So let's add 4 both sides. So we have x minus 4 plus 4 equals to 5 plus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0, so left with x on the left side, and 5 plus 9, 5 plus 4 is 9, which comes on the right side. x equals to 9 becomes the solution. So x equals to 9 is the solution. Is it the right solution? We can check it. L let's substitute 9 here in the given equation, original given equation. What do we get? We get 9 minus 4, which is indeed 5, so that is correct. Now let's do two more, this time involving multiplication and division. Well, multiplication and division are inverse of one another. When we say 2x equals to 6, it is 2 times x equals to 6. What is inverse of times? It is division, right? So let's divide by 2. So we can say 2x divided by 2 equals to 6 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we are left with x equals to 6 divided by 2, 3, as our answer. You can always check your answer. 3 times 2 is 6. Well, that works, correct? Let's do this one. It is x divided by 3. One third of x or x divided by 3 equals to 4. To solve for x, what should we do? We should multiply by 3 on both sides. So we have 3 times 1 over 3x equals to 4 times 3. This dot here means times. I'm not writing cross here, then you'll get confused with x. Another way was we could put them in brackets, right? So that is also correct. 
So it avoids the confusion, right? So cross and x normally is confusing. So we avoid. We either write with dot or in brackets. Nothing in between also means multiplication, right? 2x, right? Means 2 times x, correct? Now, let's solve it. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so we're left with x, and 4 times 3 is 12. So we get x equals to 12. So I hope these are the right solutions. What you can do is, you can substitute the value of x back into the equation, and then check your answer, right? Checking really means making left side equals to right side, right? I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and watch some excellent examples which will help you a lot. Thank you and all the best.